Now we're going to go straight to Africa. Zambians yesterday elected the country's former acting president, Rupia Banda, to be the new president. Mr. Banda, also former prime minister, was sworn in Sunday, hours after being declared the winner of a close election last week against opposition leader Mike, Michael Sata. Joining me now on the phone from Lusaka is broadcast journalist Sunday Chongo Kabange. Welcome to In Focus yet again, Sunday. It's a pleasure to be on Focus once again. Thank you, Sande. So if you could start off by describing the mood. You know, by Saturday, Mr. Sata seemed to have been leading, and now we hear today that Mr. Banda was actually inaugurated yesterday. He is the new president. Bring us up to date. I can confirm to you that Rupia Banda was sworn in yesterday as Zambia's president. He comes the fourth president. What happened was that uh, Michael Sata was leading, but in a twist of events on Saturday, after some you know, uh, ballot uh, results from the rural areas were brought into the uh, verification and center, it was actually the, the, the turn of events that uh, Mr. Rupia Banda had overtaken Michael Sata, and Michael Sata had lost this election. So this is what basically happened. Now, Mr. Sata um, claims that there was vote rigging, even though foreign observers who were there say they didn't witness any violence, no intimidation, and that the elections were free and transparent. What do you know so far about what Mr. Sata plans to do in terms of uh, appealing this? What I know is that Mr. Sata wants to take the matter to court. He wants to seek a recount after losing by, uh, by a few votes to his rival, uh, who is in Serbia Banda. So he's saying that he wants to take the matter to court and seek a, a recount of the, the ballot so that they can verify what he claims that the, the way are extra ballot papers that were put in favor of Rupia Banda. Very briefly, Sunday, my last question to you is that, uh, of course, Mr. Banda is promising to continue the legacy of Mr. Monawasa, uh, specifically the economy and also fighting corruption, also poverty. What does he plan to do about that? Yes, that is, a, that is his agenda, most definitely, that he wants to continue from where Levi Monawasa ended. And he's promising the people of Zambia that he wants to tackle poverty. You know, by 60% of Zambians live on less than $2 a day. So he wants to increase, he wants to change that and ensure that more people, you know, are, are out of poverty, as well as continue the legacy of fighting corruption, ensuring okay. economic stability. Sunday, I have to stop. I'm sorry, I have to cut you off again. But thank you so much for all that information. That was Sunday Chongo Kabange on the line with us from Lusaka, Zambia.